Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a weekly program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. For almost 20 years, the Sudan has suffered civil war, a war between North and South, between Arab and Black, between Islamic fundamentalist and Christian. Despite the recent hope of an internationally supported peace plan, the consequences of the conflict are terrifying. Three million dead, five million displaced, hundreds of thousands widowed and orphaned, and with each failed harvest, displaced refugee, bombed hospital, the needs born of deprivation grow ever greater. During the time of war, I was always calling for peace. The only clear voice was mine. What are you fighting for? Why do you kill your brother? Why do you hurt? Why is the Catholic Church an enemy for the Sudanese government? The Muslim in the Sudan think that the Sudan is a Muslim country. But then among the Christians, there are those very outspoken, like the Catholic bishops of the Sudan. This is uh, a wild fruit that they have been looking for all day. This uh, irritates the government sometimes because we criticize some of their policies. The regimes in Khartoum, and especially the current regime, has always been banned on making Sudan a country which is Islamic in religion and Arab in culture. We complain and also make public statements about mistakes they do, like restrictions for the practice of our faith, like uh, difficulties and harassment they give to our personnel, and then also the general policies regarding the treatment of the people, because uh, Sudan is not, uh, has not a bad record in terms of human rights and respect for people. It's not in a position to live the peace on its own. It needs really support from people. We have to know that in the southern Sudan, all the structures have been broken down. There is nothing there at all. Roads, Road, schools. schools, food, health care. The church in the Sudan struggles really to keep education alive for the southerners. When I say schools, maybe somebody begins to dream, oh, there they are, they have made big, uh, big buildings and so on. No, no. Since there is no government in the south, we must rely on the church for education. That is why, for us, the church is our only hope. The people know that wherever they find a church, they know that there they will find refuge, there they will find support, and they will find help. <laughs> 